morning to you all children let us continue with a discussion of the reproductive system last class we had discussed about the female reproductive system today we shall discuss about the male reproductive system what are the male reproductive system organs and its parts as you can see in the diagram the male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes which is the primary sexual organ that is the main sexual organ their main function of this testes also known as testicles their main function is to produce sperms and the hormone testosterone so it is a heterocrine gland that is it acts as both endocrine as well as exocrine gland as you can see in the diagram the testes is covered by a sac like structure this part hmm. a fold of skin sac like structure means it is usually a fold of skin called as scrotum or scrotal sac so what does it do it within it it encloses the testes and you know that in the humans that is in the mammals the male reproductive organ are found outside that is externally below the abdominal organ whereas the female reproductive system is found inside that is within the body below the abdominal organs now what is the function of this fold of skin called scrotum or scrotal sac it helps in protection of the testes secondly it holds the testes outside the abdominal uh, that is below the abdominal cavity why so that the temperature of the testes is 1 to 1 to 3 degrees centigrade less than the body temperature normally the body temperature is around 37 degrees celsius so if the testes would have been inside the body or uh, that is located inside the abdominal organs the sperms produced in the testes would have been destroyed so it requires a temperature 1 to 3 degrees celsius lower than the body temperature clear so these are the three functions of testes a uh, scrotum i again repeat it what is the function of scrotum it is a fold of skin or sac function is to protect the testes secondly to hold the testes uh, that is below the abdominal organ and to so that thirdly to provide a temperature 1 to 3 degree celsius lower than the body temperature why it is essential for the protection of sperms next you can see the diagram the testes just above the testes there is a small tube there is a small tube called as epididymis what is the function of epididymis the sperms produced in the testes are transported to this epididymis where they are stored and attain maturity normally the sperm when you observe it under an electron microscope it has got a head and a tail so this tail develops in the epididymis because the sperm has to swim towards the female reproductive tract vagina for the fertilization to occur next you see that from the epididymis a tube like structure called as vas deferens emerges got it so what is the function of vas deferens it transports the test the sperms from the epididymis to the uterus or the copulatory organ so you can see the vas deferens it goes round the urinary bladder and that is behind the urinary bladder and then you can find other organs are present called as prostate gland then you have got the seminal vesicle one more gland is there it is not shown that is corpus gland all these secrete secretion prostate gland will secrete one secretion seminal vesicle will secrete a secretion that is a fluid and corpus gland also will secrete a fluid 
together collectively they are called as semen clear now you can see this urethra it moves down the penis what is penis it is a copulatory organ in male the urethra serves as two function that is the opening of the urethra it is the passage for urine also and also for the discharge of semen clear now come to fertilization how fertilization occurs this is the penis got it so during fertilization you can see this diagram i had shown you in the previous class during fertilization that is uh, that is called as the process of sexual intercourse or coitus what happens the penis is inserted into the vagina so there are on one discharge there are millions of sperms discharged along with the fluid called as semen so out of this 1 million sperm one swim, sperm will travel upwards or swim upwards where the egg is placed got it and then the fertilization will occur that is the egg the egg and one of the sperm will fuse there will be millions of sperms many sperms on the outside surface of the ovum but only one will fuse will enter the tail will be left behind only the head part of the sperm will enter the egg got it so what happens if one there are millions of sperms i said earlier also so the ovum or the egg which is lies in the oviduct or fallopian tube one of the sperm will be able to penetrate into the egg or the ovum and fertilization will occur after fertilization what happens the embryo will develop this zygote is there to n got it it will divide and redivide many times and form a mass of cells mass of cells means same one cell will divide many times and form many nuclei this is called as embryo got it so after 10 days after fertilization the embryo which has become now become looks like a ball small ball mulberry is that uh, the ball so what happens it will move downward and gets fixed into the uterus on either this side or this side got it and this process is called as implantation so what is implantation the fixation of embryo on the walls of the uterus or womb after fertilization is called as implantation now what happens this the next stage is the gestation what is gestation from the time of fertilization till the baby is born that period is called as gestation it differs in different animals for human being it takes 9 months or 280 days so if you are asked what is gestation it is the time period of the development of the embryo to a full grown uh, that is uh, a fetus which takes about 9 months or 280 days now after the fetus has developed fully got it now what happens it forms uh, the parturition the next stage is after 9 months or 280 days the next stage comes which is called as parturition or child birth so what happens during this stage this cervix or the opening of the uterus it expands widens got it it expands and the uterus walls undergo rapid contraction and relaxation that is contraction and the fetus is expelled into the vagina so this expulsion expulsion means the baby comes out through the cervix into the vagina or the birth canal and that is called as parturition or child birth so this is how the fertilization and implantation process takes place so here are some terms that you should know got it so 
the diagrams of the male and the female reproductive system is important you may be asked to draw and label it of the different regions uh, labeling the parts you may be uh, given to draw or you may be the diagram may be given and you may be asked to label it accordingly with the functions got it okay that's for all uh, next class i'll start with the nervous system and during the online class i'll discuss the question and answers